hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. We're about to get mauled by a dog again, but we're naked and with a beanie hat, so what much else do we need going for us? Probably a weapon though, because all our stuff's on the floor and we've lost everything. Ah, that's not too bad. We can always try and equip something and try and run for our lives, but it's not too useful when the game throws all your stuff on the ground when you're about to be mauled by pretty much everything in the local wildlife. But we can just kind of steal a bit of wood, kind of move forward and hope for the best. Kind of try and traverse the murky water, and the dogs can apparently, yeah, the, the submarines now. It makes sense. And we got bludgeoned by a cactus. Will we ever survive this? I don't have a clue in the slightest. We'd have a weapon to fight back. Actually, yes, we do have a weapon to fight back, don't we? Just jump on here, and we get mauled. But I have nothing to fight back with. This is why I don't like early access games. They're evil, evil little things. It's gonna take a beanie hat from us. No, it's fine. We'll just go to sleep and lie on the floor. Hey, look at that little doggy. It's just so happy and nice. He's smiling. He's just caught a homeless man. Or maybe it's baby Jesus. We just don't know anymore. We definitely didn't just die. We're definitely not in a meadow now. So attempt number three. I mean, attempt number one, because we just kind of, we got whisked up to this magical place. Filled with rocks and wood and grass and stones. They have kind of anger out against the plant life. We can just punch a bit of grass. We've got some grass, we've got some stones. We can make our hatchet once again and hopefully not die in the process. So what's that? It can't be just a bush. Happiest bush in the world. How do you respect your bushes? You hit them with your fists like they're a delicate woman. Now we've got the stick. We can quickly combine all this stuff. Try and find a hat again. Just, oh, it looks so sad. It's got a six pack from hell. It's kind of leaning out and, a, and the size of, I don't even know. It's the size of, it's like he looks like he's combined with an elephant and a walrus. Life's lost to it's fine. I've got a high kill death ratio. Seven zombies killed. I'm not that crazy yet. But then again... There's always room for improvement. But I do need to try and make some rocks first. The sharp stone. And let's make some plant fibre. It's just how you survive in real life. You learned it here first. You just... I don't know. You just kind of... You hope. Get things levitate in your backpack. Just let all the magic happen. And you just have a magical new weapon to deal with afterwards. Now I've got that equipped. We can hopefully not die horribly. Or be mauled once again. We've basically been mauled twice so far. We just take down the tree, we'll be much happier with the end results. Ooh, piece of candy. And we can make more trees. We'll be the forester, we'll be, I don't know, we can be the Builder Bear Workshop. We can make all the apprentices, we can try and hope for the best, we can have a little army behind us. Some feathers from that, it doesn't make much sense, but it's okay. Like this was apocalyptic landscape, but we will make it worse, we'll be the bane of all the evil. Well, it's a zombie in the face with an axe just to see what day it is. Does he have a watch on him? No. But it doesn't even matter. There's no time to waste the backpack. Does he have a gun? I could do it for good. Oh, and it's got... What's that? A wooden club. How convenient. Like, it kind of it kind of excels at the whole clubbing of dead people. Clubbing seals. We should be a fisherman. That makes perfect sense now. More cans. There's not really much we can do with this. But then kind of run for our lives. Stones everywhere. There's big stones, little stones, there's just nice wildlife and just kind of that burning curiosity and the fact that we have no food to survive. If we go around, we just litter everywhere, we steal all the litter and we put it back down again. For example, there's a backpack here, what could be in it? Oh, oh we've got cloth leg armor and another club, it's like Mad Max. Except just with homeless people and bones. There's a character. We can put on a leg armor. We have sausages now. Our legs are sausages, or we have burger buns strapped to our thighs, and we're happy about this. Our legs are now slightly more cared for, and we'll appreciate the finer things in life. Just giant holes in the middle of the world that kind of leave to nothing except giant sinkholes. It's fine, we can sacrifice ourselves into there if we need to later down the line. Oh, and I love clubs, just kind of smack them. It looks so inconvenient, like I just, I can't be bobbed, I'll just, just flail it round in circles. I lean back and it's kind of fall to the ground. Please drop food. Oh, and your entire head's kind of turned. It kind of fell off. It's fine, though. You don't need a head. Heads are for people who don't have brains. And Yeah, you don't have brains. You don't need a head. And if we get more, we're kind of ready enough for bird's nest. The most convenient birds in the world. Since we don't have the ability to climb, to climb anything, really. We can't do anything beyond kind of just hop slightly. Thanks to all that, the birds will just quite happily lay their eggs on the floor and abandon the nest so we have some form of food. But that I doubt we would really survive all too long. 
I wonder, are there sharks in this game? Let's find out. Right. There's not sharks, but the sea pigs. Just evil demented sea pigs twisting and turning and spinning and flying around. Come on, pig, I'm coming for you. I'll hunt you down for your bacon rushes. Got a Clovis like caveman style. Come on, pig. That's fine. Just, just fall over. You know you want to. Just come on. If you give me bacon, I'll give you friendship. And if you're always with me, I can always try and help you. And then you can be happy. Because we can survive together. In the worst case scenario, if a dog tries to find me, then you can survive with the dog too. Because that's how just world, the world works. It'd be fine. Just come on. Come on, piggy. And thank you for letting me search your body for all kinds of food and mischief. This is how friendship works. Ooh. Pork. I, I'm happy with this. And she was, I need a cooking pot. I need to cook this food up. The little piggy is not wasted. I also need water and food. I, I have food, but I need water. I need the ability to cook food too. Okay, we'll just get some stones. It's fine, get some cotton. Straight the floor again, maybe some eggs, please. Oh, we've got an egg. We do need a frying pan. Can we make a frying pan? How do we make one of those? Oh, when I apparently I attract wildlife. Ah, oh, they, they love me. I feel so happy. If we go to the inventory or the crafting. Like, come on, food and drinks, campfire, cooking pot. How are we supposed to do that? Oh, but cooking grill. How are we supposed to do that either? Think, hmm. We need lots and lots of metal. Aha, we can have that. Oh, we can even make juice. Juice sounds nice. Make a campfire out of all these stones. We might be able to accomplish something other than kind of dying quite horribly. Come on, campfire. Construct yourself a bit faster. I would like to actually have food tonight. Or all the zombies come along and try and take me away from this world. But for the grill, I need pipes. For the cooking pot, I need... I don't even know anymore. Just I need random pieces of assorted fine forge iron. Can I make anything in here? Quick landmines. Lovely. Shovels. Hmm. Do anything with scrap metal? Other than die. Leave me alone, please. I only want to just view my inventory and see what I can make and see what things I can kind of enjoy in life. But no, you have to hit me from behind, don't you? Always hitting me from behind. Oh, there's a cabin in the woods that hasn't ended poorly in the past. Like it's kind of going to be filled with terrorists in a B-movie plot. I'm fine with that, really. I'm not kind of not just that fine. It looks a bit mysterious. It could be a well. It could be a witch's cabin. They turned me into a dinosaur. But to be fair, I would, I would appreciate that. Dinosaurs are respected by society. Who doesn't love a dinosaur? Especially one that can swim with a club, wearing a small piece of, I don't know, a hot dog bun across both legs, mighty and defined. If we move forward, we can hopefully eventually get in here without dying horribly. Is that made out of sheet metal? Because that is absolutely wonderful if so. Hello, do you have antibiotics? Because you may need them. I may need them more, but still, I've, I just, I feel as if this whole seal clubbing thing, it's just, it's working perfectly fine. Like, I can do this to survive for the rest of my life. Even if it wasn't a zombie apocalypse, you just kind of just hunt them down, get your club out, you see that dog in the distance cry slightly, because you know you're not going to survive much longer. But come on, any, any food. You call yourself survivor, but you haven't got food. But you have a bandage, thank you so much. Thank you very much. And the door's locked, oh lovely. Lovely dumpling. I'm definitely not going to break down your cabin doors just to find a hope of survival. No, of course not. They just knock after knock and just wondering if someone's home. They should be home, they'd let me in, wouldn't they? Of course they would. Oh, I, I destroyed something, that's fine. But I think my axe will be slightly more useful for this. And such is things, I should probably check my area just in case I get murdered in the night. It's not the night yet, but it'll find a way to somehow backlash and kind of find me. I just realised something. If I just dig under it, I can have everything. The entire world is plain to me now. I can be a mole rat. Tunnel into the ground. Come on, please. Yeah, it's got sand. It'll work perfectly. I'm definitely, tun I'm definitely not tunnelling into your house right now. I'm definitely doing this. It's perfectly fine. I'm not a terrorist or a home invader. I'm just a strange naked man wearing hot dogs for limbs. And hoping for at least a small aspect of survival. 
even though this is slowly getting more and more slim the further I'm getting down, I'm realizing that the zombie comes up behind me right now, I'm probably going to die quite drastically. 